Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if I can extract DNA from plants and animals. So I'm gonna test if I can get the DNA from strawberries, kiwis, and shrimp. And then at the end, I'm going to be eating it and seeing which one I like the best. So if you've ever seen this experiment done before, usually people use strawberries. For example, Niall Red recently did a video where he extracted DNA from strawberries. And that's because strawberries have eight sets of DNA in them, so they have a lot of DNA compared to, say, kiwi. So what I'm going to do to extract the DNA is I'm going to mash them all up and then I'm going to use a soap and the soap will break the cells open and release the DNA. And then I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and that alcohol will make the DNA coagulate together and float to the top. Okay, so first what I do is just get some regular water then pour some Dawn soap in it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some salt in it. So what the salt's going to do is it's going to help break up the proteins that are holding some of the DNA together. So basically it's just gonna help release the DNA easier. Okay, and now you mash up the strawberries. Okay, and now for the gross one. Okay, so now even though this looks mashed up, all of the cells that are in there are still whole cells. To break these up now, you can't do it physically, you need to do it chemically. And that's where the soap comes in. And then you pour some of the soap in with the smashed strawberries and just mix it around for a while. Okay, now I just need to filter out the strawberries. Okay, so this is pretty bubbly, so let's let the bubbles separate for a little bit. Okay, now filter out the kiwi. Okay, I'm sure this is gonna smell great. Let's filter my shrimp. Okay, here's my delicious shrimp juice. Okay, and then you just pour your alcohol down the side of it. And you can see that stringy stuff forming in there. That's the DNA. Okay, it looks like we've got some floating to the top. Here it is. <laughs> Strawberry DNA. So we'll see how much DNA the kiwi has compared to the strawberry. So I used about the same mass of kiwi. It wasn't exactly the same. Let's pour in our alcohol. You can kind of see some DNA strands forming. Okay, so this is my only distinct strand that I can get. Probably there wasn't enough to coagulate together to form a big chunk. Okay, let's see if we can get any DNA out of our shrimp now. Hey, it worked. Wow, look at that. Wow, so DNA is the instructions for the cells in your body. The DNA is how cells know what proteins to form and what to do with them. So DNA has a lot of information on that, and that's the reason that DNA chains are so long. In each cell in your body, you have around three meters of coiled up DNA. This is a ton, this is way more than the strawberry. I'm really surprised at this, holy cow. Seems a little bit impossible. Okay, and after thinking about this some more, the reason I got so much DNA from the shrimp, I should have known this from the start, but the shrimp has a lot of protein in it. And so the proteins also coagulate with the isopropyl alcohol. So really what I have here is a mixture of DNA and protein, but I'll still take it. Okay, now to eat it. So first, I'll eat my strawberry DNA. So the DNA here doesn't look very long, and that's because the isopropyl alcohol made all the DNA kind of coil together and clump up 
into big, large groups. And so you don't have these long strands of DNA anymore. But DNA is actually extremely long. So you basically have these tiny little strings around three meters long in every single one of your cells. And that's why when you feel this, it feels kind of rope-like and stretchy. Okay, strawberry DNA. First, I'll just dip it in water. Try to get a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol off of it. Okay, strawberry DNA. Ew. So no real taste to it. I could only taste a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. But other than that, no taste to it. The texture of it was just slimy. Okay, now this is the kiwi DNA. So this is only a tiny little amount. So I guarantee you can't see it. I can see it though, so you just have to trust me it's on there. Hmm. That one actually tastes good. Kind of a concentrated kiwi taste. So I prefer kiwi DNA over strawberry DNA. Okay, now my shrimp DNA. This is actually shrimp DNA mixed with protein, but... It's like jello. This is gonna be gross. Okay, here we go. Actually not bad. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. The texture of it was just kind of gummy, but it had a shrimp flavor to it. So that was pretty good. Better than the strawberry, actually. So is it dangerous to eat pure DNA? No, it's not. I'm actually worse off eating the isopropyl alcohol and the soap that was in it. And you eat DNA all the time whenever you eat anything. It's just not concentrated like that. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. Feel free to comment in the comment section with any questions you have about this video or any other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.